unsolved homicide with the lower half of the body corpse posed Elizabeth Short, commonly known as the Black Dahlia, was discovered deceased in the Limert Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, California, around January 15, 1947. The notoriety of her case stemmed from the brutal details of the crime, notably the dismemberment of her body, which was severed at the waist. Originally from Boston, Short spent her early years in both New England and Florida before making her way to California, where her father resided. Despite belief that she dreamed of becoming an actress, there is no evidence of her having any roles or employment during her stay in Los Angeles. Welcome to the place where you'll find your perfect accommodation. If you're the owner of a hotel, motel, or a similar establishment, don't hesitate to reach out for a potential collaboration. The moniker, Black Dahlia, was bestowed upon her posthumously, a practice common in newspapers of that era for particularly sensational crimes. This term may have drawn inspiration from the film noir murder mystery, the Blue Dahlia from 1946. Following the discovery of her body, the Los Angeles Police Department launched an exhaustive investigation, leading to over 150 suspects but resulting in no arrests. The mystery of Short's unsolved homicide, along with its details, has captivated cultural curiosity, giving rise to a plethora of theories and public conjecture. Her existence and tragic demise have served as the inspiration for numerous books and films, recognized as one of the most infamous unsolved cases in U.S. history. Historians also acknowledge it as one of the inaugural major crimes in post-war America that garnered widespread national attention. In 1947 Short returned to Los Angeles following a short excursion to San Diego in the company of Robert Manley, a married salesman she had been seeing. According to Manley, he left Short at the Biltmore Hotel in downtown Los Angeles, where she was scheduled to meet her sister visiting from Boston later that day. Some reports suggest that Biltmore staff recalled witnessing Short using the lobby telephone. Shortly thereafter, patrons of the Crown Grill Cocktail Lounge at 754 South Olive Street, approximately 600 meters from the Biltmore, claimed to have seen her. In 1947, the severely mutilated body of Elizabeth Short, known as the Black Dahlia, was discovered in a vacant lot in the Limert Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. Short's body was found severed at the waist and drained of blood, with signs suggesting she had been dead for around 10 hours before the discovery. The killer had washed the body, and Short's face bore a Glasgow smile from ear to ear. The crime scene was staged, with the lower half of the body positioned separately from the upper half, and the corpse posed with her hands over her head. Los Angeles Herald Express reporter Aggie Underwood documented the scene, and detectives found a heel print and a cement sack containing watery blood nearby. Elizabeth Short's autopsy, conducted by Los Angeles County Coroner in 1947, provided details of her physical characteristics and the nature of her injuries. Short, known as the Black Dahlia, was 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighed 115 pounds, and had light blue eyes, brown hair, and decayed teeth. Ligature marks were found on her ankles, wrists, and neck, along with lacerations on various parts of her body. The autopsy revealed that Short's body had been surgically cut in half using a hemicorporectomy technique, with the lower half removed after death. Lacerations on her face, head, and other areas caused hemorrhaging and shock, leading to her death. Despite indications of possible rape, sperm tests came back negative. Short's identity was confirmed through fingerprints, and the media sensationalized the case, coining the nickname, Black Dahlia. The Los Angeles Examiner misled Short's mother, Phoebe Short, with false information before revealing the tragic news of her daughter's murder. The media coverage further sensationalized Short's life, portraying her as an adventurous and labeling the crime as a sex fiend slaying. In 1947, someone claiming to be the killer called James Richardson, the editor of The Examiner, praising the coverage and hinting at sending souvenirs of Short. Subsequently, on January 24, a manila envelope, containing Short's belongings and addressed to multiple newspapers, was found. Despite compromised fingerprints, police discovered Short's birth certificate, business cards, photos, and an address book with Mark Hansen's name. On the same day, a handbag and a shoe were found, but they were also cleaned with gasoline, destroying potential evidence. The case took a darker turn when, on March 14, an apparent suicide note related to the Black Dahlia killing was discovered near the ocean. The note expressed a coward's reluctance to be captured and apologized to someone named Mary. Additionally, 
police suspected Mark Hansen, a wealthy nightclub owner and acquaintance of Short, due to his connection to the address book. And Toth, Short's friend, suggested a potential motive, but Hansen was eventually cleared of suspicion. In the wake of the Black Dahlia murder, the examiner received more letters from an individual claiming to be the killer. The first letter on January 26 hinted at a surrender, scheduled for January 29 at 10 a.m., but the alleged killer failed to appear. Another letter, received at 1 p.m. on the same day, cited a change of mind, stating that the Dahlia killing was justified. The media scrutiny delved into Short's personal life, including her rejection of sexual advances from Mark Hansen and suggestions of her being a lesbian. The Herald Express received more letters from the purported killer, indicating a willingness to stop the Dahlia killing in exchange for a 10-year sentence. By February 1, the Los Angeles Daily News reported a lack of new leads, while the examiner continued its extensive coverage. Lead investigator Captain Jack Donahue speculated that Short's murder might have occurred in a remote location, with her body later transported to the city. In 1947, a warrant was served to the University of Southern California Medical School, seeking information on students, but background checks yielded no results. The Black Dahlia case has garnered a lot of false confessions over the years, with over 500 people confessing to the crime, some not even born at the time of case. In 2003, Ralph Astell, an original detective on the case, believed he had interviewed Short's killer, who was seen near the crime scene. Notably, George Hodel, accused by his son Steve Hodel, an LAPD detective, gained attention posthumously. Steve Hodel pointed to his father's surgical training as circumstantial evidence. In 2003, wiretapped conversations from a 1949 grand jury report surfaced, suggesting Hodel's involvement in the crime. The nickname, Black Dahlia, was given to Elizabeth Short shortly after her murder in 1946. Some attribute it to wordplay on a film title, while others claim that newspaper reporters, coined the term during their coverage of the case. Some sources argue that Short had been referred to by this nickname, suggesting that it may have been earned at a Long Beach drugstore she frequented. The Black Dahlia name replaced the initial label of the werewolf murder given by the Herald Express due to the gruesome nature of the crime. Some crime books assert that Short worked at the Hollywood Canteen, but Harnish states that she did not reside in Los Angeles until after the canteen's closure. Despite rumors describing Short as a prostitute or call girl, Harnish argues that the contemporaneous grand jury found no evidence supporting such claims. He attributes the prostitution rumor to John Gregory Dunn's 1977 novel True Confessions, based in part on the crime. However, District attorneys' files and FBI records indicate that Short had engaged in sexual relations with men, dispelling the notion. The autopsy, as detailed in Michael Newton's book, mentions a small uterus but provides no evidence of abnormal reproductive organs. Contrary to claims, Short was not pregnant at the time of her death. Additionally, there is a rumor about Short being a lesbian, supposedly originating from a conversation between Bevo Means and the deputy coroner. The deputy coroner's comment that Short wasn't having sex with men led to speculation about her sexual orientation. Elizabeth Short, known as the Black Dahlia, is buried at Mountain View Cemetery in Oakland. In the aftermath of Short's murder, a bill for the formation of a sex offender registry was introduced by Republican State Assemblyman Don Field. The murder of Elizabeth Short is considered one of the most brutal and enduring crimes in American history. Time magazine listed it as one of the most infamous unsolved cases globally. Short's life and death have inspired numerous books, TV shows, and films, both fictional and non-fictional. Elroy's novel, The Black Dahlia, and its 2006 film adaptation, delves into the themes of politics and crime in post-war Los Angeles with little resemblance to the case. Short has been portrayed by Lucy Arnaz in the TV film, Who is the Black Dahlia, Jessica Nelson in a Hunter episode, and Mina Suvari in the American Horror Story series in 2011 and 2018.